I see a lot of timelines in shambles today because people dared to express sympathy for a racist who died. And to that point, I would just like to express this. A, you do not have to participate in every conversation that is going on in the public discourse. B, you need to have a loving and mature friend group or a great therapist if you want to discuss controversial topics about things that the general public has very strong opinions on, right? This is what people mean when they say inside conversations and outside conversations. Like you can have the conversation, your, your thoughts and your opinions are worthy even if they are singularly held, but you need to bounce them off of people who can let you know if you're in the wrong about a terrible person a verifiably, tangibly terrible person. Three, racists can be talented people. That's part of the reason why the thing that conservatives keep calling cancel culture, but it's really people being held accountable, that's why it exists. A lot of us can separate an artist from their actions. However, a lot of us are also intelligent enough to know that if I continue supporting an artist that does terrible things, I am validating a terrible human being, which is why you don't want to do that. Four, this also proves that there is a hierarchy in racism. Anti-Semitism is the A1, no discussion, no question marker that someone is a racist and that, you know, we should not align ourselves with them. We should not associate with them. We should give them no audience, right? And that is because we made anti-Semitism a bad word on this planet. To be a Nazi and to uh, pass around Nazi propaganda was made illegal. Let me say that again. It was illegal to be anti-Semitic in Germany. I don't know if they ever did it here. It might fall under some uh, ambiguous hate crime bullshit here in America. But in Germany, they made it illegal to be or speak of or support Nazi shit. In contrast, we have never made anti-blackness a bad word on this planet. Which is why when someone has been proven to be a racist against black people, it's like, oh, well, I don't really know if they're a racist. Oh, really? I'm gonna sign off with this. Drop Dead Gorgeous used to be one of my favorite fucking movies. After 2016, when the unnamed person I'm speaking about, but it's many of them in Hollywood, so this applies across the board. But when I found out the racist in that movie was the racist that she was, I could not enjoy her performance in the same way. And that is because I do not support terrible humans and I hope everyone else gets to that point.